Hi y'all, Wilson here from Manny's. I'm very excited today to be playing some gorgeous sound gear by Ibanez Basses. Uh, this one that I'm holding in my hands is very special. It's the SR1355B. This is a new model for 2023 and I have here the five string version, though they do come in four and six string options as well. The beautiful thing about this bass to me is not only the aesthetics, uh, this gorgeous crafted wood vibe, but also the fact that it has really beautiful pickups in it and a passive active switch. So it really makes it a highly practical bass. Taking a closer look at the top, we can see that it's a blend of walnut, maple and punga punga, which gives it this really gorgeous crafted wooden aesthetic, something that you rarely see on basses in this price range. Another awesome feature of this bass for the money that you're paying for it is this beautiful five piece bolt on neck is reinforced with KTS titanium rods, giving the neck a lot more stability and sustain. As you can see, the fingerboard is a bound punga punga with gorgeous abalone oval inlays. Uh, we've also got 24 medium frets with premium fret edge treatment, stretching over a 34 inch scale length, quite a comfy scale length. The body on this one is a lovely African mahogany, which you can see back here. Um, and mounted on it is this really handy control panel taking care of these two Nordstrand big singles. As I mentioned at the start, this bass features an active passive switch. So while you can go for a little more tone shaping with a three band EQ in active mode, you can really go for that growl that you get out of an active bass. You can also flick it down into passive. These two knobs take a back seat and this becomes a global tone knob. In addition, we have a mid boost here, uh, three options to boost different areas of the mids. Uh, we've got a blend knob to blend between the two pickups and a master volume. So let's check out some of the active sounds that we have available to us here. Now that we've heard some of the awesome active tones we can get out of this bass, let's flick it up into passive mode, see what we can get there. Uh, as previously mentioned, these two take a backseat, this one becomes a global tone control. Uh, the rest still works the same though, we've still, still got a blend and a volume. So let's play around with some pickup options in passive mode. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I've been playing this one today straight into a Dark Glass Microtubes 900 version 2. A highly versatile amp, very well suited to all the sounds you can get out of this bass. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite models from the Ibanez 2023 range. From everything to how gorgeous it looks with all these beautiful woods, um, the highly intuitive control layout, the fact that you have an active passive switch, and these beautiful Nordstrand big singles. There's a lot to love about this bass. Definitely try it out if you can. It's a beautiful instrument. I'm going to keep mucking around for a few minutes and see what sort of sounds I can get out of it. But until next time, thanks heaps. Thank mm -hmm. you.